Hello everyone! Alright, it's time to start to work on my mistakes, right? So I have some amount of mistakes found by the inspector and before my fuselage kit arrives I have, well, I have some amount, I have plenty of time to work and to get all mistakes fixed. And as well, I would like to, uh, well, basically get things covered, like close up my uh, surfaces, which I left uncovered, uh, unclosed for the inspection, as well as likely to close my fuel tanks, uh, whatever I can do before my fuselage kit arrives. So I will start with the um, vertical stab, because my vertical stab, I have some issues here. Like basically what's happened is uh, I was removing some rivets and uh, during the removal of the rivets, I got a little bit of an issue like if you can see that hole is no longer round and I need to get it fixed and uh, in order to fix it I have to basically um, uh, I have to basically make two plates out of aluminum put it on both sides and just rivet it so to make sure that the strength of the uh, whole construction is uh, remains the same that is what I'm gonna start with and I'm gonna continue to work towards slowly one by one all things and you will see that So what's happening and what I'm doing right now? Well, basically I'm working on the installation of the landing lights to my leading edges. Before I can install my leading edges, I mean, uh, and I rivet them to my wings, I would like first to install the landing lights. I know I, it probably could be done later on at some point, but I prefer to do it everything now. 
So right now I'm working on getting ready my landing lights. It's from the Duckworks Aviation. Well, so far no issues, no problems, just working, getting it ready and uh, hopefully after installing that two leading edges I will be able to fire up, get a light and install, uh, rivet my leading edges to my wings. So let's continue. If you want to store your parts while you're building airplane, make sure you don't store especially leading edges vertically. And now ask me how did I know about it? Well, accidentally, accidentally, for a short time, for 15 minutes, I put my um, leading edge of my uh, left wing vertically. And of course, for sure, I hit it with my leg, and as a result, I got this. So, well, hopefully it's fixable. I removed all rivets here, so hopefully I can fix that. It looks like it's, there is no like, critical damage here, so I will just make sure this leading edge will be, again, perfect. But be careful when you're storing your parts. Make sure you don't store them in a location where it can fall, otherwise, well, you'll get this knowledge, hopefully not. Installation of the landing lights has been completed. It took me a while though. First of all because it's just like it's a job where you have to do everything very carefully, especially cutting the hole in the leading edge. It's yeah, I was very very picky about that and trying to make it as nice as possible. Also lots of um, things to do inside there, install the um, nut plates and everything. And finally I had to modify the existing lights to fit exactly in my wing due to some specific reasons. Plus I added the option to keep my HA for the light for the HID lamp 
the power inverter right there. So all that took time, but finally it's ready. It's really good. The light test will be in the next video. Uh, by the time I'm gonna get my battery, which I ordered it, and in the next video I'm gonna try how it's gonna work. But I'm sure it's gonna be nice. So what I'm working on right now is actually my rudder and it's time to rivet it. As you remember in the very beginning, I uh, finally put a tank sealant along all trailing edge. I attached trailing edge to the uh, aluminum angles with a clico in every hole and I let it three days to dry. So now it's actually ready for me to work on and I started to rivet it. And for riveting, I have something interesting here. Look at those dice which I got from internet. So that's really, really cool dice. If you take a look, those dice, they already angled for the trailing edge. So basically, it's very easy to use and gives me a very good result when I'm riveting my trailing edge. No need to use the mushroom set on the rivet gun, just use that. It's really cool, it's really nice, I like how it works and trailing edge comes out to be quite nice. So that's my plan for now, to finish trailing edge of my rudder and call it done and move on, move on to the... what's gonna be next? I'm gonna start to work on the elevators? Yeah, right, I'm gonna start to work on elevators after that. Let's continue. That's it for today. I'm done. So what actually I have done? I uh, finished closing my rudder. I finished closing my vertical stab and I finished closing both of my elevators. Uh, also, I was able actually to complete two of my landing lights installation into my wings. That's, well, quite a good chunk of work I have um, completed and looking forward to continue working on my ailerons, flaps and wings. But that's gonna be in my next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you in the next video. Bye.